Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 12th, 2024, Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, and much love, and welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Having a look here at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, still very active, multiple solar flares, and yet another X-class solar flare, Earth-facing event, so now at least 10 CMEs were and are on their way to our planet right now. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have pretty active region on the left-hand side, getting ready and cresting into view for the next week or so. And it is a very complex region, so heads up, we're going to see some more severe geomagnetic storms over the next couple weeks, I'm sure. Having a look here at the last 48 hours, outgoing large plasma filament on the right-hand side and the left-hand side. So that is in the southern hemisphere. Watch this plasma filament there react with that sunspot region, the culprit for all of the most recent solar flares. Massive plasma filament erecting from the surface there. And as well in the northern hemisphere, a little solar tornado whipping away. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the most active regions, of course, and then most recent X-class solar flare. Darkened regions there, coronal holes as well. One attached to that sunspot region and one building around a sunspot region there. That one is building really fast. And then 171 angstroms here, just some amazing images of our sun. Able to see the heliosphere in action. And right now we have 12 sunspot regions that we are looking at and having a look at our sun right now if you were to put on some solar eclipse glasses you'd be able to see that massive sunspot region in the southern part of our sun right now having a look at this in motion this is the last two days of images as it is turning away and watching the center screen here something else build as well quickly forming a sunspot region in behind that active sunspot region amazing images brought to you by sdo mixed with daily events worldwide current space weather conditions we are under r3 strong radio blackout impacts expected high frequency radio communication disruptions as well solar storm uh, level one and a geomagnetic storm level three level four for later tonight yet again going back and forth between three and four Solar winds are punching us at 849 kilometers per second right now. Man, has it ever been busy. Having a look at a solar X-ray flux, this is the last two days of imagery, or sorry, uh, data showing that strong X5.8 solar flare and then another X1.8 flare overnight. Solar proton flux was very much elevated up into the S2 range just about geomagnetic activity of course hopped up to a kp9 and that's why we were able to see those auroras all over the world northern hemisphere southern hemisphere just inundated with cosmic charged particles and just amazing sights caught all around and as well shared on facebook multiple millions of pictures on facebook uploaded these are the 10 cmes the culprits for the northern lights right now and there's more on the way, Thir 12th into the 13th. So tonight and into tomorrow, we're going to see a pretty strong geomagnetic storm. So look up and share all of your photos and experiences with Space Weather Events on Facebook. You can find me on there as well. Aurora forecast for the next hour and a half. Daytime into night. And then here's a forecast for this evening. And then a forecast for tonight. So, heads up. As far south as southern Ontario, yet again, we will see Aurora. Having a look at tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow's. That red line is pretty much the bottom line of the view line. Visible all the way down to Nova Scotia. 
just amazing times to witness and be alive. Now let's have a look at Lasco 2, showing all of the events that the sun has produced since May 8th, when all this started. Four days now this has been going on. Ten coronal mass ejections later, from Earth-facing solar flares, plasma ejections. But we also had a sun-diving comet. Watching the last few images on the 12th here, you're going to see something come in beside the numbers. There you go. Small sun diving comet heading into the sun. And again, just some amazing imagery of our sun in action. Look at all that energy coming right at us, folks. Wow. And there's that sun diving comet. Having a look at a broader view here, Lasco 3, and you're able to see Venus. And I'm not sure what the other one is. Could be Saturn, Venus and Saturn coming into view here. But look at all that energy. My friends and family, thank you so much for being a part of this channel. And thank you for wanting to stay aware and prepared to all of these space weather events and worldly events, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Amazing times to be alive. Grateful for every moment and grateful for all of you. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. As, yeah, it has begun. It started out early this morning with a large 6.4 magnitude earthquake in Brisas Barra, Mexico. 75 kilometer depth, that is right around the Popopoqueto volcano, in between there and Fuego. Two very active volcanoes through that region. Caribbean Plate seems to be the most active right now, right up into, that's right, the Gulf of California. Having a look at an earthquake swarm here, Delta BC, Mexico. That is right on the border with um, California. Started out with a 4.1. Largest the last 24 hours, 5.9. Kermadec Islands. And then look at the Pacific Plate, Philippines, Indonesia. No earthquakes. What is up? That's way too quiet. Interesting earthquake here, Ethiopia, 4.9 a magnitude earthquake. And tell me space weather doesn't affect seismicity around the world. Because after what we are seeing now, after the last few days of space weather events, this is forecast. Watch the west coast up into the Juan de Fuca, especially with all of this activity. Having a look at USGS. They're reporting 230 earthquakes the last 24 hours. But let's zoom in as to where this small earthquake swarm is. And it looks like it's right around a heavy fracking and pumping station, but also pretty sizable caldera here. Now, this is an ancient volcanic field, and these are all geothermal and fracking stations. Earthquake swarm going on there right now. Started with a 4.1 this morning. And continuing right up through the San Andreas. Minor activity. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about. USGS reporting 231 in the last 24 hours. And that is an uptick as it was at about 180 this morning. So yeah, things are definitely picking up. Quite a space weather event that we just went through. And now a pretty sizable earthquake, 6.4 magnitude earthquake. Mexico, 75 kilometer depth. No tsunami with this earthquake. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that may have been affected or that is affected by earthquakes worldwide. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, please just be prepared and aware as to what to do and have a go bag ready. It's all about being aware and prepared, my friends and family, and I care for you all. This is the last seven days for shakers around the world, largest being the 6.4 that we saw today in Mexico. Watch the Pacific Plate up into the Juan de Fuca and Alaska. And the peculiar earthquake at Ethiopia in the Africa African Plate. 
very interesting. Now let's have a quick look at world weather. I noticed something yesterday as there is uh, quite a wildfire that is burning across northern BC and as well Alberta. Having a look here, satellite imagery, you can see most of Alberta through the foothills was inundated with wildfire smoke from these fires just north BC border with Northwest Territories. You can see them break out over the last couple days and look at all that thick smoke running through Edmonton and as far south as Calgary. Having a look at satellite imagery here in motion, you can see that big fire brewing through Alberta as well. Early wildfires through a most likely brittle and dangerous wildfire season. So stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Thanks for watching tonight. Please don't forget to give a big old thumbs up. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.